The debatable motion? So does anyone have any comments? Mr. Slocum. This is just a question. Would this uh, provide uh, um, Attorney Johnson an opportunity to uh, edify counsel on some of his findings uh, pertinent to the documents before us? Yes, that was why uh, I did recommend to the town manager that uh, we defer consideration of this issue tonight. That's correct. So that time, cons that time table you've suggested was was different than tabling because you're actually suggesting the continuance of the vote here. Is that correct? Correct. The, the motion is to a date certain, and that is May 13th, which was the recommendation of the of the uh, town council earlier tonight that we that we postpone until that time. Okay. Thank you for the clarification. Mr. White. Nobody has to answer this question if it's out of line here, but um, again, and I'm not trying to be <laughs> the 45 day clause. Matt Bowman said, White Bowman, it doesn't matter. But what about the other five bidders, I guess? Uh, I've, I have already had discussions with the uh, town staff. Uh, when this issue first uh, arose about <coughs> requesting all bidders to extend uh, uh, the 45-day time period. Now, if they decline to do so, obviously that could raise issues, but uh, uh, we, we're not going to allow the 45 days to expire without it being addressed in advance. Okay, Just Thank you. And those were the spec rules. <laughs> was a 90 day so everybody's 90 days uh, correct in uh, in response to the problem that happened in the second bid the PBC specifically uh, requested that the contract be written up for the 90 day window instead of the 45 so the third bid the first bid had a 45 day window second one had a 45 day window the third time around the PBC said we're not going down that road again let's make it 90 days which which is more in our favor. So. But it also makes the cost higher. Mr. Rocky, this, this point is relevant to the postponement of this, of this issue. This point that I make is in reference to this gentleman saying what I said was erroneous. Mike, Mike uh, we've been doing this. Uh, Mike, uh, I, I've it, given you a great latitude here tonight. No, I said the minutes were erroneous. You're, saying, you're, you're stating that, uh, and you are... Um, Ch Mike, uh, let's PBC Chairman McKinney, you're saying that the, the, the verbiage Mike, here. Mike. Let's go. Go in the hallway. Mike, Mike, this isn't pertinent to the motion that's on the floor right now. The motion on the floor is a motion po to postpone this, yeah, right. and so this you, is not pertinent to that. And and so you want me to go in the hallway? I didn't say go in the hallway, Mike. I'm going to call for a vote on this motion. What before we before we vote though? I do agree with some of the stuff that you heard here tonight. I, I do agree that this is, this is not the way we want to do business, that the people and the taxpayers of Cheshire deserve better than what they've gotten here tonight. I mean, this, uh, this to me is horrible, the way this went on tonight. And I, you know, and I hope part of what Mr. Johnson finds in the next three weeks is I would like to find out why, why this bid in the 45 days had lapsed, because that clearly is, that clearly is what caused and precipitated what happened here tonight. Um, I do get concerned, you know, we've got this big binder, and I also was privy to a website called Connecticut Corruption that, that highlighted a lot of documents that are in this book tonight that actually, um, that actually called into question probably some of the motives of some of our volunteers that work on public building, which, which to me is also horrible. And boy, in the time when it's hard to find people to serve on boards and commissions, to have your, to have your reputation question in that way is, is, is really terrible, and I, I think that is horrible. I, I can't find a sliver of anything good in anything that went on here tonight. Not one. I think this was awful. I think it's a low point, and we have to do better. And, and, and our bid procedures, everything has to be tightened up because this can't happen again. This was bad here tonight. I will call for a vote. All those in favor of, of postponing? Yes, we have Mr. Mr. Slocum, Mr. White, Mrs. Esty, myself, Mr. Caprio, and Mr. Altieri. And those opposed is, is Mr. Simon and Mr. Rocco. So the motion carries. 
I will call for a five-minute break.